In small country towns, society often revolves around the local pub. It's where stories are told and ideas are shared. And here in Nindagully, the pub is most certainly the setting point of the community and it has been for over a century. Yes, it also has been the set for Paperback Hero, the movie starring Hugh Jackman 20 years ago. So if you want to get a good feel of the Queensland Outback, this place is definitely a must-see. This is such an iconic pub. It's very, very well known in Queensland and around Australia. Why do you think it is so famous? OK, you sort of walk in and you go, I feel, I feel like I'm home. I feel, I feel like I, I can just, like just relax. You walk in, you sit down and it, straight away you talk to the person next to you. Where are you from? Where are you going? What are you doing? And the, the bar staff are talking to you too, the same thing. So everybody's interacting. It's just home and it, and it tells its own story. One piece of history being preserved here at the pub is the boomerangs, used in the movie Paperback Hero. And local artist Barry Boland has been commissioned to restore them to their former glory. It's one of those things as an artist, you, you know, it's a good opportunity to actually give back to your own community. And basically this design is about the, the snake and its journey down along the river systems. And we as Indigenous people, we, we have that connection to that river system. I being a man of the earth, you being people of the earth, you know, we've got to get to that place where we realise that our, the earth is screaming out and needs people like us to actually, you know, to, uh, to look after it and care for it. Very strong. Very yeah. strong. Our next destination is very much on theme with Barry's sentiment. We're headed to a very special project site that's helped to save a unique Australian species from going extinct, the northern hairy-nosed wombat. So Jen, tell me about the fence and about the area that we're in. Yeah, so it's about 130 hectares and it's surrounded by about four and a half kilometres of this fence. Um, the main purpose of the fence is to stop predators from coming inside. What did the numbers get down to before you started these projects? Yeah, so they got down to just over 30 individuals in 1982. 30 individuals? Yeah, so it was pretty dire straits for the wombats and we're now looking in 2016, we did a census and there's 260. So amazing. that's an amazing recovery for a species. Can we see some burrows? Yeah, sure, we've got one of our largest, it's just up here. How cool is this? These are the burrows. Wow. So this is one of our larger burrows that we've got here at Runner. Um, it's, we actually call it the Taj Mahal of Runner. <laughs> so. oh, are we going to see any? Oh, look, it's highly unlikely at this time of the day. They are nocturnal. Um, so generally, we'll be able to only see them on our cameras. It's fantastic to see this beautiful animal coming back from the brink of extinction. We're now heading to St George, where Barry is welcoming us to country and introducing us to the local elders. 1942, my brother, Len Waters, who this memorial celebrates his service in the RAAF as the only Aboriginal fighter pilot to participate in World War II. Len had a distinguished career in the RAAF, but when he came home, he wasn't allowed to have a, have a pilot licence because of his Aboriginality. It's incredibly moving to hear the story of Kev's brother, but it's so uplifting to know that the Indigenous legacy of this country is in such safe hands. Oh, look, before you fellas go, I brought just a little gift from here. <laughs> what are they? And in our lingo, these are guara. Guara? Yeah, and they normally call them kwandong. These are very, one of the healthy foods that our people lived and survived on for thousands of years. Mm. Oh, very high mm. in vitamin C. They are you beautiful. You can go on long in and it can give you recipes and everything. Now we can get Mirko to cook them for us. <laughs> yeah, Mirko, you can be the deadly cook now. <laughs> the deadly cook. <laughs> <laughs> See, nah, it's not that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> 